Hello, I'm Michael Murphy. I'm going to show you a few things with Humminbird PC that uh, I get asked quite a bit. Uh, people that have a lot of waypoints, they want to start getting organized. Or if you're coming from another unit into a Humminbird, let's say brand X, and you want to start being organized and how to do that. So I'm going to show you this in this quick tutorial. First thing you got to know, if you are coming from brand X, uh, the great thing about Humminbird PC is it will uh, transport those into the correct format. So just bring it in through your little chip function here and import it into Humminbird PC and that's what I have done. Now this was a uh, file from 2008, once upon a time before I was organized. So I'm going to show you with that file. So you'll open it up after you get all your waypoints in. And sorry guys, I've created some uh, dummy waypoints so you can't get all my data here. But I still want to show you. And um, so what you can see is exactly how many waypoints you have. So just select the top one and arrow all the way down to the bottom and hold down the shift button and you can highlight all of them and I'll tell you I've got 2,999 waypoints. Well what you want to do is um, go here open up your file and you got a nice little uh, globe here it's Google Earth and so select the whole file not the individual waypoint that way it shows everything and it may prompt you to go ahead and download Google Earth if you haven't already uh, when you download it at Humberbird PC you want to go ahead and do that so this function is uh, available. So you want to give it a minute. I mean, you got roughly 3,000 waypoints, so it might be a little slow. Um, you got to let it catch up here. So what you want to do is um, take a set of waypoints for this file. And I'll show you how to do this by leg so eventually you can. Um, eventually uh, do them all and you shouldn't have any waypoints left on this when you're done. One thing I want to show you real quick while I'm on this is you're going to see down here the numbers I have in format that's compatible to what GPS is used. The way you do that is go to tools, options, and then you're going to see degrees, decimal, and minutes. Make sure you have that check mark and just hit apply and OK. So I'm going to zoom in Taking a little bit of time, still uploading. Okay, I think I finally got it. I'm going to go to Lake Murray here. And um, you can see I got a bunch of waypoints. So what I want to do now is I want to isolate these waypoints. So I'm going to look for a little waypoint over here in the top left and also a waypoint down here and go ahead and write them down on a piece of paper. So that way you know everything between the two north references and inside this box and everything between the two west references inside this box is like Murray. So after you write that down, I go ahead and close this out. Uh, that way you don't have too many things running. helps things run faster. Um, first thing you want to also do before you forget is uh, create a new folder that you're going to take this to. So, okay, I'm going to create one for Lake Murray. I'm isolating this. I usually like to do the today's date. So I'm going to do Lake Murray. And... Um, 825-2013 is when I'm doing this. Okay, so here we go. We got the waypoints there. So I have this open, ready to go. And so I'm going to go to these waypoints. And I'm going to show the first couple numbers just um, so we can reference these. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and organize the latitude. And what this is going to do is put in orders from least to greatest. And so the numbers I wrote down, I'm looking for everything between 3344. So I'm going to go down here between 3344 and I missed it, 3344. Select the first one and between 82 and well, no, 3344 and 3435. That's why you write this down. So 34, 35, looking for 35, 34, 35, and go and get all the 35s. Now hold down shift, select that. I want to copy and I want to paste them. All right, so here we have all the waypoints uh, in the new file. Now these are just between the latitude ranges. So you still have a master in this. That's why I encourage just copy and paste and keeping your master untouched. 
and just duplicating it in other files. And you can always double check in Google Earth um, those waypoints as well. So go to your longitude now and do the same thing you did with your latitude. Is you organize these and then at this point you want everything between 80, 52 and 8211. So 80, 52, that's good. And 8211. Now what you're going to see, here's an example. That you have stuff in the same uh, northern reference, but they're not in the same westerly reference. So everything outside of 8211 is no good. Now before doing this, you want to make sure you still got these waypoints, but I know I have them. So this is just a copy. So on this file, I'm going to delete everything outside of that longitude for this file. And now I know the only thing left is just things for Lake Murray. So that's how you do that. That's how you make a lake uh, file. And so there's my lake. So you can go back and do every lake after that. And if you want to double check it, is just go to your Google Earth and bring this up. It'll load it up just like it did before. And there you go. Did it successfully. It's just like Murray in that file. And all the waypoints there. So going forward, all I do is when I go to Lake Murray, I just upload just that lake and grow and form that lake, conform that lake to how I like to fish it, delete waypoints, and just tweak it as I go, keeping new files uh, going forward. So this will help you stay organized by lake going forward so you don't have too many waypoints on your, on your uh, unit and you can easily stay organized. So hopefully this helps you with this tip, and good luck. See you on the water.